Savior out here today. Yep, I don't hear. Go Jesus, man. Them dogs might let you down today. That's right. That's right. Go Jesus. He'll give you true peace and joy. How you doing, sir? That's right. I'm glad you're doing good. I'm glad you're not in the hospital on your deathbed today. Praise God. So you need to live holy so when you do die, you'll be right with God. So if I give my money to Jesus, what happens? Jesus don't want your money, sir. He wants you to obey him and give all your heart and mind to him. And when you do that, you'll want to give your money. You see, I'm not like a lot of these fake preachers in America today. I don't care about your money. Oh, about, just about every one of them, practically. Oh, well, Creflo Dollar, all them big mega churches, Joel Osteen. You know, on and on. You know, we could go on and on. Okay. You know, Jesus said now rolling straight is the way to heaven. Most of these preachers say just pray a prayer, believe in Jesus, and you got your ticket. That ain't what Jesus said, y'all. If you want to get to heaven, you need to walk the straight and narrow path. If you want to get to heaven, you need to get more excited about Jesus than you do football. Okay. A lot of y'all talk about football, but when's the last time you got excited about talking about Jesus? Huh? Tell me the truth, y'all. I'm asking you an honest question out here today, okay? God's Word says live soberly and righteously in this present world. There's going to be a bunch of drunkards in this football game out here today. Yep, they're going to be idolizing football. When's the last time you gave your Savior a standing ovation? He died for you. The Bulldogs didn't die for you. Put Jesus on that cap, sir. He died for you. Well, hey, no thank you, sir. No thank you. All right, put Jesus on those shirts. Put Jesus on there, sir. He died for you. Those tigers didn't die for you. They might let you down today. Okay? That's the bottom line. You need to obey the Lord, y'all. You need to live holy if you want to be blessed by God. That's right. You need a ticket into the kingdom of heaven, not that football game. That football game will be over real soon. Okay? And you, you probably, some of y'all, some of y'all is going to leave there sad today. If your football team let you down. You need to obey Jesus. He won't let you down, sir. Put Jesus on that shirt, sir. Those dogs ain't going to save you. You get more excited about Jesus than those bulldogs or those tigers. That's right. Man, I, look at all those LSU purple shirts out there. That, I, I like those colors of LSU. They look good. But you know what? You need to put Jesus on that shirt, young man. He died for you. That's right. You need to get more excited about your Savior than you do your football team. I ain't never seen so much football idolatry in my life than out here in Atlanta, Georgia today, okay? But I'm just trying to encourage y'all to get excited about your Savior, okay? If you're not excited about your Savior, you ain't going to make it to heaven. I'm just telling you the truth. So you need to get more excited about your Savior than you do football, okay? Because those LSU Tigers ain't going to save your soul, but Jesus can't. Okay. But you, go Jesus, baby. Go Jesus, baby. Go oh, Jesus. That's right. But see here, y'all get all excited about the Tigers. That's okay, but you better get more excited about Jesus than you do the Tigers or the dogs. That's all I'm trying to tell y'all. If, if you want to make it to heaven, you need to advertise for your Savior instead of your football team. Okay? A lot of y'all truly idolize your football team. I'm just being honest with y'all. The preacher came out here today to share some truth with you today. Okay? How you doing, sir? Is your name in the book, sir? I hope it is in the book. That means you're living holy and walking the straight and narrow. Okay? That, you know, your Bible says to live soberly and righteously in this present world. You know, we're going to see a bunch of booze, booze drinkers in that football game today. They love their football and their booze. Yep. But your Bible, your Bible says... Your, 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 Bible, your, your Bible says live holy and righteously if you want to go to heaven. Your Bible don't say get excited about football to go to heaven. No, football could lead you to hell, actually. If you get more excited about your football team than you do your Savior, you're going to be in trouble when you stand before God. I'm just being honest with you. Okay? You know, Jesus said, now rolling straight is the way to heaven and few there be to find it. I didn't say that. Jesus did. Jesus said, you are my friends if you keep my commandments. You need to be sober, sir. Satan wants you to drink that booze today. That's right. You better read your Bible. You better celebrate Jesus with a sober mind, sir. Go Jesus, man. Go Jesus. I'm not into your football idolatry today. I'm into Jesus. I'm into Jesus. I'm not into LSU, man. That's right. 
I want to, I want to go to heaven. I don't want to go to hell. Idolizing football. That's right. That's right. Yep. But if you love football more than you love your Savior, you're going to be in trouble when you stand before God. I'm just being honest with y'all. I'm telling y'all the truth out here today, and I know you don't want to hear it. But I love you enough to come out here today and tell you, you need to get more excited about your Savior than you do the LSU Tigers. You need to put Jesus on that shirt, sir. He died for you. Yeah. Tell him, man. Tell him, brother. Same to you, brother. Put Jesus on that shirt. All right. Obey Jesus. If you want to get to heaven, get more excited about your Savior than your football game. That's right. It's nothing wrong with watching a football game, but you need to you need to get more excited about Jesus than your football game. How you doing, ma'am? Lord bless you. Obey Jesus, sir. Make sure your name's in the book of life. You ain't going to get your name in the book of life by coming to this football game today. You're going to get your name in the book of life by obeying God, living a holy life. That's right. A lot of y'all put football before your Savior. That's right. You know the Bible says idolatry is a sin unto God? A lot of y'all idolize football. You really do. If you were honest with yourself, what do you say, ma'am? I used to idolize the world. I used to be a friend of the world. But you know your Bible says to be a friend of the world is to be an enemy of God. That's in your Bible, y'all. That's in your Bible. You know, Jesus said, narrow and straight is the way that leads into the kingdom of heaven, and few there be that find it. That's what Jesus said, y'all. Jesus said, narrow and straight is the way to heaven, and few there be that find it. Don't you want to go to heaven? So obey Jesus. You can get excited about football as long as you get more excited about your Savior. That's right. But a lot of y'all get more excited about football than you do your Savior. And that's sad, y'all. That's sad. I'm not here to warn you. Your Bible says, without holiness, no man shall see the Lord. Put Jesus on that shirt. Put Jesus on that cap. He died for you. Those bulldogs ain't going to do you no good when you on your deathbed. That's right. But Jesus will do you a lot of good when you on your deathbed, sir. Is your name in the book of life? Are you walking the straight and narrow path? Are you living holy today? Or you come out here to live wild and worldly and revel in this football today? You know where I can take a trip? That's right. No, sir, I don't. But anyway, those bulldogs might let you down today, but if you give it all to Jesus, he won't let you down. Look at that. Got an LSU hard hat on today. Go Jesus, brother. You need to get excited about your Savior. That's right. You need to quit idolizing your football team and start idolizing Jesus. That's right. I ain't never seen so much idolatry in my life than, I, than, than the Bulldog and the Tiger fans out here today. That's right. Put Jesus on that shirt. Put Jesus on that shirt. He died for you. I hope you love God more than you love football. I do. That's what I, I encourage you to do that. That's right, but you need to love God more than you love football, but you ain't going to make it to heaven. That's right, but I ain't never seen so much football idolatry in my life. Put Jesus on that cap, sir. He died for you. That's right, put Jesus on there. Those bulldogs ain't going to save your soul, but Jesus can. That's right, do you get more excited about your football team than you do your Savior? I'm asking you an honest question today, y'all. You need to search your heart. You need to obey Jesus. That's right. You need to walk the straight and narrow. Is your name written in the book of life? Is your name written in the book of life? If you died today, do you know for a fact you'd go to heaven? Are you living holy before God today? Or do you love sin and football more than you love your God and your Savior? I really believe a lot of you love booze and football more than you do God. I'm convinced of that because I've been living in this United States of America for 59 years. Yep, I'm convinced most Americans love football or the rock and roll musician more than they love God. Yep, or your booze. I'm convinced many Americans love their booze and their drugs more than they love God. That's right, but that booze will get you up and let you down, sir. Obey Jesus and he'll give you true peace and joy. Think LSU's gonna win? I really, really don't think Jesus cares who wins this football game, sir. Okay? That goes to show you how carnal people are out here today. 
the man asked me, do you think Jesus, do you, do you believe Jesus thinks LSU is going to win the game today? That's so stupid, man. That's a carnal mind. You know your Bible says a carnal mind will not inherit the kingdom of God. And look at these young girls out here wearing their tight tights. You know your Bible says to dress holy. How about it, y'all? How about it, ladies? Your Bible says present your bodies holy unto God. How about all these lewd women in America today? How about all these lewd women that got to squeeze in their blue jeans? Huh? Talk to me, ladies. Are you living holy? Are you dressing holy? Yeah, we got a bunch of lewd women in America today squeezing into their blue jeans about to bust out of them. That's right. Y'all need to obey Jesus. You need to get more excited about your Savior than you do football. That's right. Your football team might let you down today. Somebody is going to get let down today because there's going to be a loser today. Okay? But if you give it all to Jesus, you won't be a loser. If you put Jesus number one in your life, he can heal your body, ma'am. That's right. If you put the Lord number one in your life, that Budweiser might lead you to hell. That Bud Light could cause you to lose your soul in hell. That's right. Those drugs could cause you to lose your soul. Do you really want to lose your soul? That's right. Satan don't want to go to hell by himself. He wants somebody to go with him. But you need to live holy if you want to go to heaven, fellas. You need to walk straight now and obey Jesus. You need to get more serious with God than you do your football team. I'm just being honest with y'all out here today. Praise God. Jesus said you are my friends if you keep my commandments. Don't you want to be a friend of God? I don't know about you, but I'm, I am a friend of God. I used to love sin, but I hate sin now. That's right. I love Jesus now. Look at them purple pants. 